Welcome to the Focus and Clarity session today, or the Clarity and Focus session today. Um, the key thing, the number one thing that a lot of people don't realize is uh, that we need to be making offers. Now, we're three days off the last um, uh, days of the month of April. We've been going, I've been talking every single day for 30 days. So if you haven't seen the strategies and tactics that I've been sharing over the last 30 days, go to the Consulting Unleashed Facebook group uh, uh, or go to uh, the Consulting Unleashed YouTube channel and go and check out all the uh, offers, tactics, strategies that we've been talking about over the last 30 days. So today, even though we're three days out from um, uh, the end of the month, uh, I want you all to close a deal within the next 72 hours. So I'm going to talk about how you're actually going to do that. I'm going to share with you four campaigns that I have crafted just for this talk. They're going to be four campaigns to cover uh, uh, multiple aspects of what we do. Uh, if you want to, I'll even craft a campaign for you personally in uh, today. Um, um, uh, so uh, uh, thanks, Mark, for letting us know you've got two potential sales on standby. Um, hopefully we'll get those over the line in the next 72 hours, which is awesome. Um, but uh, the, the thing, one of the things that I do, one of the things we do in Champions, and this works really well. In fact, every single month that we do this, uh, people make sales. So if you want to make sales, um, uh, this is one of the ways which I know that if you apply this uh, very simple strategy, uh, that you will maximize your opportunity to actually close a deal. And I'm going to give you some context, some structure, and I'm going to talk about some campaigns. And then what I want to do is kind of open it up to you of how we actually use what I'm sharing with you today to apply the campaign. Because actually, I want all of you to run the campaign today. I want every single person on this call, every single person on who watches this replay or watches the video, I want you to run this campaign as quickly as possible. Because if you want to make sales, this is one of the fastest ways I know how to make sales. I'm going to give you context, structure, and I'm going to share the offers or the campaigns with you. And then if you want to fine tune that, I'm going to let you fine tune the campaign uh, for each of you that are here on the training. If you want me to, I will craft this structure or this strategy for you in real time live. So let's get into it. Um, uh, so as I said, we are coming to the close of April, right? We're here in April and we want to be making sure we maximize the opportunity to close as many deals. The strategy I'm going to share with you today, uh, the idea behind it is to close deals within the next 24, 48, 72 hours. So the whole purpose of this strategy is what I call the crazy offer, right? If we, if we have, and so the idea is, what is that crazy offer? So let me explain what a crazy offer is. I'm going to show you some crazy offers. But the whole idea between this is to create such a strong sense of value and timing that there's going to be some people who say, yeah, I'm interested. That's the whole deal behind the crazy offer deal. So with that, let's uh, get into sharing my screen with you. Um, you should be able to see my slide presentation right now. I'm going to hit that up there. Uh, so just type one if you can see my slide presentation. You can see crazy offers that make sales. If you can do that, just type in one. Uh, if you can see my screen, awesome, one, 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 awesome, great. Okay, so remember these sessions are interactive. These sessions are designed to maximize your opportunity to actually convert and do uh, sales. So let's talk about crazy, crazy offers. Um, um, so the thing is, is if you don't offer it, they can't buy it, right? That I, I should have that printed on a t-shirt. If you don't offer it, they can't buy it. So many people don't have enough offers out in the marketplace for people to buy. And they don't have enough offers to actually test what is and what isn't, what isn't working in the marketplace. If, you're, if, you look, if I look at my friends, some of the best marketers on the planet, right? In fact, uh, we hired one of the best copywriters in the history of our marketing. We hired Dan Kennedy to write a sales letter for us. It was a 79 page sales letter. We paid over $100,000 for this sales letter to Dan. And he was gonna take, or he does take 3% of all the sales that are made from the sales letter in perpetuity for life, as long as we ran that sales campaign, right? Now he crafted the offer, he put this, he put, you know, it took him three months to write the campaign. Crafted the offer, did also, we launched the campaign. And it failed abysmally. We ran it out to thousands of people in the marketplace. We got people swearing at us. We got people who were threatening to sue us. We had people who were uh, literally, you know, wiping our name uh, through the mud because of this campaign that we spent 120 grand on. 
right, uh, with the market. We're one of the best modern day copywriters of our time. A lot of, if you look at any major copywriter, they're all going to cite Dan Kennedy as one of their mentors, right? And so, and so um, it failed. However, that was the test, right? So the test didn't work. So we had to refine, refine. It took us another three months of refinements before we started to see the conversions from that letter where now we generated millions of dollars worth of sales just from that one sales letter that Dan had written for us, right? So here's the thing. If we don't offer it, they can't buy it. Good, bad, or indifferent. We can put a bad offer out there and you know what? Sometimes some people will buy a bad offer. If we put a great offer there, some people are going to buy a great offer. Maybe nobody buys a great offer. But the thing is, is if we don't put it out there, they can't buy it. I often say to people, what is your offer today? What do you got out there right now? How many of those offers are you making right now? And in most cases, I get the donut, the zero, right? Well, it's pretty freaking hard to make any money if you don't put an offer out in the marketplace. It's nigh on impossible to make any money at all if you don't put an offer into the marketplace, right? And so that means to me that if you aren't putting offers out in the marketplace, you're not in business. You know, you are not in business if you aren't putting out offers on a consistent basis to test, to measure, to try different things, to see how you can improve and engage. So if you don't offer it, they can't buy it, right? So offer, 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 sale, right? Generally, it takes you seven, seven offers to make one, to make a sale. You're going to have, sometimes you have to tap people on the shoulder seven times or more before they make, before they say, I want to buy it. They have to see the offer seven times right? What do people do when they do cold email? They send out one email, right? I wonder why they don't get any responses. Some of my champions have in their cold offer campaigns up to 13 emails, 13 emails talking about exactly the same thing, right? Elaborating, personalizing to generate, but they're the guys that are making $500,000 in the last two months at a cold email. 500 grand cash in sales in the last two months just by putting out offer, 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 to the same list, not to a new list, right? To the same list. In fact, the list is only 1,100 people long. There's 1,100 people in the list, not very, many, not very many people in that list. So they've got campaigns running to test and drive that traffic. Uh, the other day I saw uh, one of my champions, Simon's Calendar, who does the cold email campaigns. He had eight appointments in a row, eight appointments in a row from people who came back and said, we need to do this, right? So you wanna offer often, right? You wanna find out and get feedback as to what, what is working, what isn't working in the marketplace. So you need to give a valid reason for the offer. That's the other thing. Right now, there's lots of valid reasons, right? Uh, one of the valid reasons is maybe we're going to use the time that we're in, the fact that people are coming back to the market. Uh, businesses need to be open. They need to be seen. One of the reasons we're making this offer is because we want to make sure that people, one, get out there, maximize their opportunity to in connect, engage with the market, and number two, to take advantage of the gap that's being left open by all those businesses that aren't coming back to the market, those customers can be picked up by you. There's a valid reason to run a campaign, right? So you need to give a valid reason as to why you're doing this. Hey, we want to make you visible. We want to make sure you're picking up the business that your competitors are leaving out there right now. If you want to know more, let's talk, right? I'm going to show you these compelling offers in just a moment. Next, offer something that people want. Now, that sounds like a really stupid statement or very, very sort of, uh, obvious thing to do. But if you have a deal, if you have an offer that people will buy if you put it out there because that's something they exactly want, then you need to be making sure that you fine tune. Like, for example, there's, uh, oftentimes I ask people, have you ever run a campaign? Have you ever run a successful campaign in your business? And I go, yeah, we had a, we've had great promotions in our business. So great. How often do you run that promotion? And they go, once a year. So well, why don't you run it every month? <clears throat> if we ran it every month, what do you think would happen? Do you think we'd make, make more sales? The guy looks at me and goes, yeah. So if it's such a great offer and people want that offer, wouldn't it be fair to make that offer available all the time if it's really good? So give people what they want, right? Think about what they want. Think about the depth of what the impact is of what you're offering. If it's something people want, say, hey, we know that people like you want this. Here's how you get it. So one of your offers or an offer you can craft is the, uh, the offer that they want. What do they want, Right. People need help, and if they need help, they need to make an investment, and so they'll make an investment where they see the value to help them. So we want to offer something people want. It's an obvious thing to do. Most people don't offer what people want. They offer the opposite of what people want, or they make it hard, or they have a convoluted offer uh, of putting out there, right? So make it time sensitive. 
Now we're 72 hours before the end of the month. So, hey, we thought we'd do this. Um, uh, we wanted to help one or two people, right? And so we're going to close this out on Thursday at 5 p.m. close of business. So we're going to make it time sensitive. So we create some pressure on the time sensitivity, right? The next thing we want to do is we want to make it scarce. We only can offer this to one person or two people. Two, one or two people can take advantage of this. Are you going to be the one or are you going to be the two? Remember, FOMO, fear of missing out, right? So only, there's only two of these. And what we'll do is we'll try to create the motivation to go, okay, I'm in. I want it, right? Okay, I'm in. I want it. We're going to make it scarce, right? We're going to make it scarce. So next thing we want to do is we want to add value, right? How do we add value without incurring a cost to ourselves, right? What can we do? Can we add value with somebody else's product or service? Damien Papworth, Global Sale Marketing, I know you're here. Can we add value with somebody else's product or service? Can we bundle two products together, create a great value proposition, one where they get a deal because everybody loves a deal, right? Can we do add value? I'm gonna show you four offers that you can use, right? So here are some crazy offers. I'm gonna give you the examples. You can copy these and you can run with these. But what I recommend you do is think about the context that I'm gonna share this with you so that you can craft a campaign that is relevant to you. Now, before I show this, these crazy offers, before I show what I've crafted or created for you, what I want to know is, um, and let's have a let's have a virtual contract. Let's have a virtual agreement, right? Uh, I just want to see how many people are on here. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people on here, right? So, um, so I need you to t don't do this just yet, right? Don't do this yet. I need you. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give these crazy offers. You're going to pick one of these crazy offers that I'm going to give you, and we're going to adapt the offer to your service, right? We're going to adapt the offer to your service. And the agreement that I'd like to have with you is that you run the offer today, right? So if you are going to run the offer today, stick around. If you're not going to run the offer today, jump off this call. No point in being here, right? So two, I want you to type two in the keyboard if you're going to run this offer today. You're going to run a crazy offer, one that I'll craft, one that we're going to do today. I need to see a two. If I don't see a two from you, I'm going to kick you out, right? There's no point in being on this training if you're not going to do this. So I've only got five. There's a few people here that I'm going to be kicking out if they don't do. Just type two. You need to run this today. This is not something you're going to do tomorrow, not you're going to do the next day. You're going to run this today, right? So, yep. Because if you don't, if you, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, we've got agreement. We've got a whole bunch of people jumping here. We've got agreement. Awesome, right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, so I like let's make this bank, yeah. Let's make this pay for you, right? Because I'm going to ask you tomorrow when I do this over the next three days. I'm going to keep asking you, how did you go with the deal? How did you go with the offer, right? How did you go with the offer? How did it go? Did you get any replies? Did you get any responses? Did you get any phone calls? Did everybody say yes? Right, we're gonna over the next three days, we're gonna create some 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 energy, some momentum, because the deal is that we want somebody to say we're interested in this offer, or we want somebody to buy the offer from you. Okay. So I'm gonna show you four crazy offers, and then from those four crazy offers, you're gonna pick one, and then we're gonna craft, if you want, we'll craft a campaign or listen to the campaigns that I'm crafting for others to run this campaign. Now, my team is gonna take this video. As soon as we get it, we're going to run it up into YouTube and run it over Facebook as quickly as possible. So if you need to come back to this, right, uh, we're going to do this. But right now, I've got buy-in from everybody on these crazy deals, right? Crazy deals. So at no time are you going to sacrifice revenue to do this. You're not, this is the, what I'm going to share with you. The way that we're going to craft these offers is the offers are going to be based on creating a perceived high value a perceived high value right so you're not actually giving cash you're giving perceived cash value to this deal right so i'm going to walk through all the offers and then what i'm going to do is going to get some feedback on the offers and then what i'm going to do is going to invite you to say okay of the four offers let me craft a campaign for you now if you don't see an offer here that you can rel that is relevant that you can use then let's cr let's craft another crazy offer right let's craft another crazy crazy offer all right so here we go we're going to go off number 1 all right i'm going to turn this off here right for number 1 okay we're giving away two clients $1500 towards graphic design for a redo a re redo 
right, redone website or a new website, are you interested? We're going to offer $1,500 worth of graphic design. Now, you're give away, giving away $1,500 worth of graphic design. You're giving away $1,500 worth of perceived design that you would do anyway for the client in selling a five or ten or $20,000 website. All you're doing is positioning a value. Now, how many clients are we going to give it to? Two people. Now, there's two lists. One of the things you want to be con conscious of in creating an offer. This offer, these crazy offers, uh, the first people I would do crazy offers to is my existing clients or existing client list, right? Past client list or people who haven't bought from me. Now, if it's a cold email list, I'm going to craft the same offer that we're going to run to the cold email list because these people you don't have a relationship with and they don't understand why you're giving away this cash, right? So we need to craft a campaign. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you do for a cold list. And then this is what you're going to do for a warm list, right? Because remember the deal is that we want to close the deal in the next 72 hours. That's what we want to do. We need to sale money, cash in bank in the next 72 hours. That's the deal. Or we want somebody to say, I'm interested in taking this advantage of offer. Let's move towards getting this client on board over the next few days. Okay. That's the deal. So, Hey, we're giving away two clients, $15 towards web design for a redone, redone website or a new website. Are you interested? Yes or no. Right? That's a direct offer right to somebody cash offer right um next offer if you start your seo campaign today we'll give you the first two months free that's a saving of thirty seven hundred dollars would you like to start right now you don't have to give away two months you can give away one month, right we get and that could be that could be nineteen hundred dollars value or two thousand dollars of value or four thousand dollars a month worth of value that you're giving to the client if you start an seo campaign today with us we'll give you the first month on us and that'll save you nineteen hundred dollars right or we'll give you the first two months, that'll save you $3,700. But you must make a deposit, right? You must make a deposit, right? Okay, it's not, you know, because you're making an agreement, you're gonna continue on, right? So for the first 30 days, it's on us, but to commit, you've gotta to commit to the second 30 days, right, to start the campaign. So from that time on, we're gonna give you the first month and then we go. So you've gotta put a deposit down, right? So if you start it with us today, we'll give you the first two months for free, that's a saving of $3,700, would you like to start? crazy offer right we're offering three clients three clients a three thousand dollar digital audit for four hundred and fifty dollars this is an opportunity to develop a digital plan to dominate in your local market just say yes and we'll organize your digital blueprint audit are you in right this is for three people we're offering three clients a three thousand dollar digital audit right so that could be an seo audit adwords audit facebook audit that could be a digital footprint audit of your whole social right branding audit whatever you want Normally we charge three grand, we're giving it away for 450. Who wants it? Yes or no, right? So we get, you're gonna offer these, you can go back to your existing clients. If you do AdWords, you can offer SEO. If you do Facebook, you can offer it. If you're doing SEO, you can do the same thing. Here comes the ad or the ad campaign offer, right? The ad came off campaign is, let's save you $5,000 on your Facebook ad campaign. Are you interested? We need to know by 5 p.m. today. Let's save you five grand on your Facebook ad campaign. Are you interested? We need to know by five o'clock today, right? Let's save you five grand on your AdWords campaign, right? Are you interested? We need to know by 5 p.m. today, right? Now, the $5,000 is your setup fee. Normally, most people don't charge a setup fee to set up an ad campaign. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to say, hey, we'll give you, we're going to put our team, we're going to devise a strategy, we're going to do the copy, we're going to do the creative, we're going to optimize your campaign. Normally, we charge our clients five thousand dollars to start. We'll take the first month's management fee and uh, ad spend, but we'll cover the cost of the setup fee. This is our five grand commitment to get you started. So let's save you five thousand dollars on your Facebook ad campaign. Are you interested? We need to know by five p.m. today. Now I want to create some context around these offers, right? I want to create some context. So what I would do is if I was going to the cold market, so remember I said, this is the warm market, right? So to warm market, here's how I, would, how I would run the campaign. Pick any offer, it doesn't matter what you do. If you use sales automation, you can do exactly the same thing, right? But here's the thing, um, pick any offer. And what you want to do is go to existing clients and say, hey, right now, we want to, we know, we know that cash flow is really important in business and we want to save you money. We've been able, we've had a discussion with our team and we've been able to put together a campaign for you or we've put together a strategy for you where you can save a really significant amount of money if you're interested in taking advantage of the strategy we put forward to you. So what we propose to do is if you start an SEO campaign today, we'll give you the first two months for free. That saves you $3,700 on the campaign and that gives us the opportunity to start making sure that you're visible in Google searches 
for your business. If you're interested, let's get going. You can make that to an existing client. Now, if I was doing it to a cold list, this is a list that I haven't emailed before, right? This is what I would do. Hey, we're, <clears throat> we're offering $5,000 to our inner circle clients, right? On their new Facebook ad campaigns. And we thought, you know, uh, right now, because of the uncertainty, because of craziness, because of lockdown, we know the business is coming back into the marketplace. And we thought, you know what, let's go and help a whole bunch of other people. So we would like to offer you the same offer that we offer our inner circle clients, where you can save $5,000 on your new Facebook ad campaign, or your new AdWords campaign, or your new YouTube campaign, or your new Instagram campaign, or your new LinkedIn campaign, right? You get the idea? We can go to the cold market and say, hey, this is something we offer to our inner circle clients. And we thought, well, you know what? You're in business and businesses need to be saving money right now. And they need to be looking after their cash flow, but they also need to be visible. They need to be marketing. They need to be out there because right now there's a gap that's occurring where there's a whole bunch of people in your market that are not in business anymore. And you have the opportunity to capitalize and bring in new customers because those customers aren't able to go where they were going. Now they can come to you. So if you'd like to talk to us about this strategy, if you'd like to take advantage of the $5,000 cash that we give to our inner circle clients, then let us know. So that's, if you run the campaign to the cold list, email list, that's what you can do because you have to make it relevant. You have to create a reference, a frame of reference, a plausible reason as to why you're doing this. You are not just, please don't copy these campaigns like they are and just send them out because they're not gonna work. They may, but I highly, I highly uh, uh, doubt that they will get you the result if you don't put the other context into it, right? If you put the other context into it of why you're doing this, why, what the reason for this is, um, uh, how they can take advantage or why it's important to take advantage of it now, and the fact that you're creating some scarcity, some time sensitivity and some quantity sensitivity around this. Uh, this is a very simple offer that all of you can make. These are four examples of offers, whether it be some design, high perceived value, whether it be running some SEO for 30 days, high perceived value, whether you're offering a something where they still pay you some money for something that you don't normally charge that you give away for free, but you position the value of that, what you give away for free, and then you give them a deal where they can buy into it at a lower deal, and that is cash money. And if people pay money down for your strategy, then they're more likely to actually invest in the whole strategy. So this, this third offer is a great way to get paid for your strategy time, right? And the last offer is the one thing that I know a lot of people don't do is they do not have a setup fee for their ad campaigns. I don't understand why people don't charge it because that's where you spend the most time, right? You spend the most time crafting the offer, getting the creative together, putting the A-B split test together, setting up an optimizing campaign, devising the strategy. That should, you should be charging people five grand for that right? So one of the ways you can use that, if you're not charging for it now, it's money that you don't get anyway, you might as well charge them or you might as well say, you know what? Our inner circle clients, we've been offering this to, we thought we'd offer it to you too. Are you interested? We've only got, we're only going to give this away to two people and you've got to get back to us by the end of the day, right? Um, now, love to get your feedback on the offer. Who thinks uh, these are really cool offers? Who thinks that type of three, if you can, if one of these offers is relevant that you can run out today? Type of three. We've got a few people up in the threes, right? Right. Um, who? Anybody not? I'm happy for you to chat, but anybody not like the offers? Anybody got any questions around the offers? Michael says crazy offers, crazy good. Yeah, three two equals six. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> three two equals six. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Three three. Anybody any questions around this offer? Anybody got any questions around the idea of this offer? Right, all these offers. Because what I want to do is I want to, I'm happy just to give some examples. I'm happy to craft an offer for you in alignment with the offer. So how do we make this offer relevant to what you have to offer? Um, uh, 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 okay, so here we go. Do you think we can run two offers concurrently to two separate lists? Absolutely. My answer to you, so if you said to me, George, I've got an idea, I'll say yes, <laughs> right? Let's go and test it in the market. Let's find out and get feedback from the market. If you say, I've got a great idea for an offer, great, let's go and run it out and test it. Let's not massage it, let's not mess with it, let's go for it, right? So if you, if, if the answer, my answer is always gonna be yes, right? If you said, I've got this idea, yes, that's a great idea, let's go and test it, right? Because the market is going to determine whether or not you would, uh, would um, uh, you know, you're getting feedback and you're validating, yeah? 
So, um, so here we go. So how would you to offer? Off four, wouldn't it be good to at least get case study testimonials, referrals along with the deal? Um, well, you could, Howard, but that's not the purpose of this offer. You could, if you want to, you can, yes. My answer to that question is yes. But if you want to, that complicates things. Because if you say to people, I'm gonna give you a deal because I'm looking for a testimonial, if I, if I get it offered to me, I tell people to piss off, I'm not interested in doing that. You know, you're trying to bribe me to get a testimonial. You know, I'll give you a testimonial if you do a good job for me, Howard. I don't, I'm not, I don't need a bribe to get into a testimonial. I don't need to be bribed to get into a case study scenario. That to me is a bad, bad strategy. Because what you're doing is, is, is um, you're actually devaluing what you're offering in what you're doing by doing that. So can you do that? Of course you can get case studies up, you know, absolutely Howard. Would I do that as a strategy, me personally? No, I think it's cheap and I think it's shit uh, to do that to people. I really think that, like a lot of people say, you know, if I do this deal for you, I want you to become a case study. I don't want to become a case study for anybody. I'm not interested in being a case study, right? I'm happy to pay the money if I get the results. So give, get me the results, give me the results, right? And I will give you, uh, you don't have to ask me, I'll give you a great testimonial, right? So, so don't, don't um, mess the offer up by saying the reason I'm offering this is because I want you to give me a case study testimonial. That's not what these deals are about, How these, uh, 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 these deals are about getting a sale, right? Th these deals are not about getting case study. You should be getting case studies from every client. Howard, you should be getting case studies for every client, right? So for me, this is about offering the clean, clear offer for the reason that you're offering it, right? A valid reason that you're offering it. That's what you want to do. Don't muddy the waters by trying to bring other things into it that, that, that make this offer, that you're changing the structure of the offer. I, because, and, I, and I'm going to just say this one last time, um, uh, me as a person in the market, I've had people make these offers to me. Hey, Don, can I make you a case study? No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested, right? I don't want to be a case study, right? Why are you cheaping your offer or service? If you're, you're, if you're using this to get a case study and you're say, saying this to the client, right? I'll guarantee you that the case study is going to be shit, right? Because because it muddies the whole water. You should be getting case studies and testimonials anyway from all your clients, Howard, not using an offer to get a case study. That's, that's where I'm going with this. But, uh, but thank you for asking, right? Uh, Todd, create an offer, generate leads for small businesses to get kicked off again coming out of COVID-19. Okay, Todd, I'm going to create that offer for you. Uh, getting testimonials first is getting your ducks in a row. Thank you, Michael, for saying that. Getting testimonials. This has got nothing to do with testimonials. This has nothing to do with case studies. This is, I want to make some money. If you want to make some money here today, just type one. If you want to add cash flow revenue to your business, just type one. If that's the only thing that you want today. Thank you. Right? George goes, 111. 111. Right? 1111. Awesome. Yeah, we're all here to add revenue to our bank account. And in adding revenue to our bank account, we're going to do the best that we can to get the best value and the best outcomes for the clients that invest money in our services. That's what we're, what we're all agreeing to in this process, right? So, so Howard, the reason is we're going to give them massive results so they continue as paid clients. Should we be negotiating the post offer deal? Uh, no, Howard, they're going to pay you anyway. They're going to pay you monthly anyway. It's not about this thing that they get for free. They're signing up for the full program. This is just the offer uh, or the value add in front of the offer. They're still paying you for the full money. They're still paying you full program. What you're doing is providing a value add so that, in, so that it encourages them to take the decision now. Remember the idea, right? Huge value add, time sensitivity, scarcity. The whole idea is either let's get in a conversation or let's get started now. What you do after you're, you're still selling your entire service, you're still selling your, your, your entire process. All you're doing is you're using this as the hook to get the decision to happen now. That's what you're doing here, right? So there's no, there's no, it's there's nothing to negotiate. You have an offer, Howard, for your services, right? You have a fee that you charge for people for the service you provide, you have a deal you give to people, and that's your deal. All you're doing is you're attaching this to your deal, they still buy your deal, right? But what we're doing is we're creating a crazy, crazy uh, uh, scarcity one-time offer opportunity deal to close the deal, to put money in your bank account. That's the whole deal behind this, right? That's what we're doing.
right? Um, Michael says this is the start of the conversation. When I look at these, it appears that number three is a logical choice. A good audit opens up the plethora. So yeah, if I look at all three offers, actually my favorite offer is offer number four. Offer number three, digital planning audit, you've got to, you've got to do a little bit of explaining there, right? Uh, you, you've got to uh, craft a little context. Yeah, it's a good offer, right? It, it is a good offer. But my favorite offer is offer number two, offer number one, and offer number uh, four. Those are my favorite offers, one, two, and four. Because they, there's a direct, big value impact on the offer, right? Uh, this offer, so by the way, you can test it. Don't take my word for it, test the offer. So, um, Todd Schultz, first of all, Damien Papworth, are you here? Uh, just type yes, Mr. Papworth. This type, yes. If you are awesome, mate. I'm just going to unmute you, my friend, uh, because I know that you've run many of my offers out in the market and you've had uh, some mixed results from the offers that we've run. So I'm just going to find you, Damien. Where are you, mate? There you go. Hey, mate. How you doing? Oh. Yep, you're in. Hey, how you doing, Can mate? You... Yeah, good. Yourself? Good, mate. Now you've run that you've run quite a number of the offers that I've created. We, we've, we've talked about this and we've created different offers. You've actually run quite a few of these types of offers. Yes. Yeah. So I sort of, um, I, I like the nine word email structure to go to our list, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, the more we chat, the more I, uh, align that nine word email structure with the offers that, um, you keep slipping into my mind. <laughs> But my, my thing for you, Damien, what, you know, are you getting responses on those offers? Are people coming back to you? Are you making, are you getting business out of those offers? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a little bit more tricky for us because we, um, I mean, we typically don't make an offer to sale. We make an offer to recruit. Um, and then we yep. try to support our agencies to make a sale so that then they ask us to support their throughput, yep. support their work. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, definitely. I mean, some of the good ones we've done that came, came from you is... Uh, at the start of coronavirus, I, we did a um, the warehouse is full. We have to empty it. Style of um, yeah. email, and that was basically. I mean, we we, we typically give away the thousand dollars for um, agencies to try us, give them a credit of thousand dollars on their invoice just to try us. Um, so yeah. we structured that as a. Obviously, we've had a drop off of business with coronavirus. Um, I don't want to lose anyone in the SEO team. Uh, if you start anything in April, we'll give you $1,000 credit towards it. Um, limited to awesome. eight people, I think we did. Yeah. And, so how, that was, and, and did, did the, yeah, the response go up? To that. You had 100 responses to that offer. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. Um, I need that to, one, that, I need that to, whole $1,000. I'm going to myself in a position. Yeah, so that whole $1,000 offer, that, that came originally was... Um, we're gonna, that was another one of yours, the original thousand dollars. We used to give away three months SEO to give us a shot. Um, and that yeah. didn't work too well, but giving the thousand dollar credit worked quite well. And the original idea with that was I was going to spend 10,000 on Facebook ads rather than that. We thought we'd give yeah. it to our community. So the next 10 agencies who start an SEO campaign will give a thousand dollar credit. That's awesome, man. And looking at these ones, That's I sort awesome. of, I did say, yes, I was going to launch something today, but we're still working through the LinkedIn. Um, mm -hmm. the, we got about 40, 50 responses to the LinkedIn campaign. And we're still working through them. But I like the first yep. one. Hey, we're giving, yep. we're giving five clients $500 towards agency LinkedIn outreach um, yep. with, with a, a new client SEO campaign started this month. I thought that might be a pretty tricky, a pretty cool way yeah. to do it. So that's the first offer there. So basically an agency who starts a new SEO campaign for a client will support them, get the next client with 500 bucks or something like that. I thought that that could work quite that's well. That's awesome. That's a good, that's a good deal. That's yeah. A great deal. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Um, thanks for that. Uh, because I know you've been, I know you've been listening. I know you've been running these offers out. <laughs> and I, know, I know that people have been coming in and taking advantage of those offers. So I really appreciate you uh, uh, testing uh, some of the, uh, the ideas out here, which is awesome. Yeah, I think one of the points you made a bit earlier, John, in not copying and pasting these, you do need to think about your circumstance and just 
tweak them to, to really make it um, logical for your circumstance. I think, I mean, I'm a perfect example there that we don't typically go out for a sale. We go out to recruit. Um, but I think that's, you know, what you said earlier before about do tweak them a little bit is super important. So it's, um, yeah, definitely. Another thing that, another thing you can do, Damien, and this is something just in thinking out ahead of what you're doing, what I would do is offer these campaigns to your clients to send out to their clients. Hey, we'll be the, we'll be the value add, send this offer out to clients to go and get clients. If you bring mm. on a client, if you bring on a client on board for us this month, we're going to give you campaigns to run to generate more clients for you right? You can take all these offers, right? And say to them, like, I've got four compelling offers right now that we can run, that you can run out to the market to generate clients. If you, if you bring on a new client or customer for us, we will give you these four compelling campaigns. So you've just given me permission to do that, John. I've given you permission to do that. You can literally rip these, adjust them, do whatever you want. Go out to your customers and say to them, hey, we've got four cracker new campaigns that will go and generate clients for you. We've added the value added components in them, right? If you're interested, if you bring, if you add on a new client this month, we will give you the campaigns that you can run awesome. to go and generate a whole bucket load of clients. The reward so you to bring like on I'm a new shouting. customer. <laughs> it looks like I'm shouting when you come down. The I'll reward. buy lunch. No. <laughs> But to reward you for bringing on a client, we're going to give you our, uh, some, of the, uh, some of the best performing campaigns where we, Globatel, have given you the value proposition, the value, that value proposition, right? Beautiful. You got it? Thanks, yeah. mate. That's amazing. You, know, you, want to generate more, you want to generate more clients while well, we're giving the campaigns, right? Every time you join, every time you, if you bring us a new clients, maybe that's an incentive to get people to start uh, bringing clients on board. When you bring a new client, we, if, you, if you start with us and bring us a client, we'll give you your campaigns. If you are currently a customer and you're next, you bring on a new project, we'll give you the campaigns, right? Perfect. And then you make a big deal of it. Yeah. George says, I'll take that up, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Mate, thanks for being on here. I really appreciate you being here, mate. No, great. Thanks, John. You're welcome. All right. So, um, I'm just going to go back here. Todd Schultz. Todd Schultz. Where are you, Mr. Schultz? Todd, Todd, Todd. I love that name, Todd Schultz. That's a really strong name, Todd. Commanding. Um, Todd, Todd, Todd. Uh, let me, let me uh, blah, 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 see. Have you, have you got a microphone, Todd? Have you got a microphone? Just say yes, or just type one if you've got a microphone. Try it if you can hear me. Thanks with my wife. Okay, awesome. Uh, Todd, 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 where are you, Todd? I'm gonna find you here in the time. Here we go. Hey, Todd, can you hear me? I've just unmuted you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, can you hear me, John? Yep, yeah, gotcha, man. How you doing? Yeah, good, good. I'm a little bit here prematurely because we have a meeting um, 11 o'clock on Thursday because we're just starting up a new digital marketing company off of you know, all your advice. So I'm a little bit behind, but I'm, <laughs> this has definitely put me ahead of the game listening to all this and I'm getting me rare and going to get my first clients before I even start the business. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's always a good thing, getting, getting your first client before you start the business. So you have a question up here um, of how would we craft a campaign? Uh, I'm just trying to find it here. Uh, so, uh, offer for, we're framing the 5k as a way set up fee and still charging for retainer and ad spend. So yes, you still get, they still have to pay you a, a month's retainer, right? The setup fee is separate from the retainer. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So the setup fee is separate. So every, so right now as a line item, if you're invoicing a client, there will be set up or I would call it strategy, strategy and setup. $5,000 cross off, right? So when you invoice the client, you're going to invoice the client for whatever fee plus the 5,000 minus $5,000. So they see that as a line item on the invoice, right? So they, so that becomes real to them, right? Yes. And then they only pay the setup fee, right? So, so, so um, the service that you're offering, what are you doing? You're doing ad Facebook ad campaigns or you're doing AdWords? What are you doing? Um, well, what we're doing is basically the, um, the approach that we take is just be able to generate leads for the company to start off with. So we're using combination of both Facebook or um, AdWords. So we right. want to be able to go and say, Hey, you know, your first, maybe something along the lines of, you know, the first 
10 or 15 leads that you get are going to be completely free. So you can see that it's actually working, that type of thing. Um, you can do that, but what I would probably do is I would I would structure, I would use this deal, right? So if you're going to the market, so, this, so, uh, uh, so Todd, I just want to give you some context here, right? Um, yeah. uh, um, there's, there's two, well, there's three kinds of lists. There are three kinds of lists, right? The first list is our familiar list. People who we know, friends, associates, colleagues, alumni, people who we have a connection, with, direct connection with, that we know that we can have a conversation with. That's the first list. This list is a list that I would always be marketing to. If you want to pick up your first clients really quick, the familiar list is the list you're going to make the most money out of initially, originally, because it's people who know you and it's people who may refer people to you. So you might go, the campaign that I would run to the familiar list with this deal is saying, hey, We've been, we, we've spent years of our skills, ideas and strategies to develop um, uh, uh, an agency right now that is devoted to helping clients, uh, helping, business, uh, helping businesses to generate or acquire customers so that they can actually sustain, get predictable growth. And we've got systems and processes right now that work. But what we're doing right now is we're giving people, we're giving people the opportunity to save $5,000 on, on a new Facebook ad or an AdWords campaign to go and generate clients. Do you know anybody who can take advantage of saving five grand right now on Facebook ads or AdWords? That's the campaign that I would run out to a familiar list. That's the awesome. one, right? Okay. Number yeah. two is the next list. The next list is people you've either spoken to in the past, people that you've made an offer to in the past that didn't buy from you. This could be a customer list from another service that you provide, right? So that's the second list. The second list is a list that you know you've either engaged somehow or they know who you are, or they've had some form of communication from you. It could be one email, it could be a, a campaign, it could have been anything, right? But they've had one contact with you, right? So if, so if they've at least had one contact with you, then for those people, you can do, hey, we've been doing something right now because it's crazy and it's COVID-19 and all that sort of stuff and coronavirus. One of the things we've been doing is we've been trying to save our clients a lot of money in advertising. And right now, the advertising rates have dropped significantly. So for our inner circle clients right now, we've actually been giving them $5,000 towards their Facebook and uh, AdWords campaigns uh, in terms of getting them out there into the marketplace. We'd like to share this with one or two people in the market because we know businesses out there are trying to save money try to get the cash in the door. And the fastest way to get that is to put your business out in front of the freight train that is the internet, right? So if you're interested in taking advantage of what we do with our inner circle clients, we're happy to say this, this for you as well. We're giving $5,000 towards your Facebook ad campaign or AdWords campaign to get this kicked off in that launch. If you're interested, we can only offer this out to two or three people. If you're interested in taking advantage of the $5,000 saving, then let's get a call. Give me the best possible phone number that we can contact you on and get a call. So that's the second list. The second list is a contacted, done something. You could have sold them something else completely, right? It could be something you, you did completely, but you're letting people know that this is what you do now, okay? So that's the second campaign. The third campaign is to a cold list. This is to a scraped list, a list that you've perhaps never emailed before, right? So for those of you who are listening to what I'm just sharing with Todd, this, these are the three campaigns if we're going to do the advertising campaigns using this particular tactic, right? So if we went, if we went to the market and we looked at um, uh, uh, our you know, a, a, a campaign to a cold market list, Todd, what we want to do with a cold market list is we need to create some relevance, um, uh, some... some um, uh, uh, acceptance of why, so there's some reasons, right? So we've got to give them the relevance of why this is relevant to them. And we've also got a reason, we have to craft reasons to why we're doing this, right? So the, and the reason we have to give them Todd, it has to be plausible. It can't be just a made up, you know, reason. The reason has to make sense, if, if you get what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a cold market campaign. And this is what I would do is if I was taking the same offer number four to go to a cold market campaign, what I would do is I would say, something like in the lines of this. Um, um, uh, right now, we want to save you $5,000 towards your ad campaign. That's the subject line. Todd, I want to say, right now, I, um, uh, we can give you a $5,000 saving on your AdWords campaign or your Facebook campaign. Subject line, right? And so now the copy or the body, 
Hey Todd, I just wanted to I just want to introduce myself very quickly. We're specialising in obviously helping people acquire customers in the marketplace. Right now, the one thing that you need in your business is you need cash flow. And one thing that we've been doing with our clients, our inner circle clients, is we've been actually helping them and saving them significant amounts of money on running campaigns out of the marketplace. And the offer that we made them was to save five thousand dollars towards their current to a current Facebook or ad campaign that they would run with us. So we thought uh, that this would be a benefit to businesses like you. Because right now, people are coming back in the market, coming out of uh, uh, lockdown, and a lot of businesses have shut down. Now, I don't know if your business is staying open or you intend to uh, 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 work through this period to generate clients, but there's a huge gap. And that gap is those customers that can't find their existing supply chain, uh, they need to find you. So if you are accepting customers right now, what we can do is we'd like to help you save that $5,000 on your Facebook or AdWords campaign. If you're interested, give us the best number that we can contact you on. P.S. Todd Schultz, ABC Marketing. Our speciality is making sure that you convert clients into happy paying customers. Our goal is to make sure that you sell more of your product uh, um, uh, and get more people, uh, get your product or service into the hands of more people that can benefit from dealing with you as opposed to going to competitors, right? Let's make you first choice in your local market. You got it? Uh, that's awesome. You gonna send me that recording? <laughs> the recording The recording is gonna go up uh, uh, today. So this recording oh, is gonna go up awesome. I guarantee you today. <laughs> so, so for those of you, cause I've just literally, what we've done here, Todd, is I've crafted the same offer three different ways to three different audience. For me, a list, a list that you've had some contact with, and then a cold list. And each campaign is slightly different as to how you're approaching this. But I'll guarantee you that if you get this campaign, at least one of the three out today, because that's what you agreed to do when you hopped on this webinar, right? Uh, I'd love to see the response or the, or the, or the, uh, uh, um, the feedback. The other thing that I would highly recommend you do, uh, Todd, if you're gonna run this out to the market, is follow it up with a few people, especially with a familiar list and say, hey, did you get my email? Can I let you know a little bit about why we're doing this? Right, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and uh, and absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> George says recommended follow up uh, for the email offer. Uh, I don't know what the question is. George just said that question's answered. <laughs> okay, so more important, you want to follow up and say, hey, just getting feedback on this offer. Is this something that are you interested in? If you are, let's talk about it. Right, the whole purpose behind this, Todd, is to have that conversation. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Very good. So this meeting you're about to go into, right, for your business, hopefully will be all about this. Yeah. <laughs> because the key here is to run this offer now. Like, by the way, an hour ago, I had I was talking to some of my champions. They're running this offer now. They've been running the last twenty minutes. They've been running this offer out to the marketplace. I'm already getting mm -hmm. I'm already getting text messages and feedback that they're getting people saying yes to these offers. So I know that these offers work. Right. So, so do not get your ducks in a row here, Todd. Don't be a duck, be a do, right? Take action, <laughs> run it yeah. out, like run it out to the market. This is the fastest way. If you said to me, John, what's the fastest way to get customers? Get your offer out in the market. That's the fastest way to get customers. You want to put cash in bank, get the offer out to the market, follow up the offer, ask if it's relevant, help people out. You cool? Yep. Very cool. Right. Thank you very much. So tomorrow when we, when, when, if you are brave enough to get on here tomorrow, I'm going to ask you how you went with your offer. Okay. Great. We're cool. And we're still on for Thursday. <laughs> and we're still on for Thursday. Absolutely. So we've got it. We've got a deal. You're going to do this the next 24 hours. Yeah. I'll do this next 24 hours. Yeah. This, and awesome, make sure man. you can hook me up with the fulfillment area. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We've got a few people that we can help you with that. But anyway, um, cool. All uh, right, thanks. You. I really appreciate you asking the question, uh, uh, Todd and, uh, and good to connect. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Much All right. Okay. So, um, questions. Uh, Eric says I'll use a couple of my, uh, so of the couple that Eric that you want to use, which one are you going to use? Pick one. Don't pick two. Pick one. Let's go for one. Right. Don't need to overthink this. Right. Don't need to overthink this. Yeah. Um, any questions? I'm here to answer your questions. If you want me to craft a campaign that's relevant to you and your service offering, just say yes and I will do this for you. How to formulate a Facebook ad offer for a general manager or a car dealership. Um, right now, let me save you $5,000 on the Facebook ad campaign. 
uh, let's get more people buying cars right now. There's people, there's people coming back into the market. Lockdown is, uh, is opening up and people want to buy cars. Uh, can I give you $5,000 towards your current Facebook ad campaign uh, to, get those, to get those clients buying cars? There's your deal, right? Uh, right now, I'm offering my inner circle clients five grand cash uh, on developing their Facebook ad campaign. Are you interested in taking advantage of that $5,000? I can give this to two people today. Are you going to be one of them? Yes or no? Right. There's your deal, Eric. There's your deal. Yeah. Who else? Who wants to be craft campaign? Who wants to be brave enough to get on this call with me? Who wants some help? Just say yes, and I will unmute you if you've got a microphone, and we can do an offer. Bill Haas, do you want me to craft you an offer so you can get this out to the market? Brian Alway, do you want me to craft you an offer to get this out to the market? Chris J, Chris Kirkham, do you want me to craft an offer to get you out of the market? Just say yes, and let's do this, right? Julie, would you like me to craft an offer for you, Julie? James, you've got a million offers. Any one of these four will work for you. Any one of these four. George, I know I'm going to see you in about an hour. <laughs> Any questions? Otherwise, I'm going to say thanks for coming, and we're going to get off this call, right? Just say yes if you'd like me to craft an offer. Tell me who the market is. Tell me which offer, one, two, three, or four, is relevant, and let's do it. Just type it in chat. I will wait for you. I will patiently wait for you. Send an offer earlier today. Awesome, Chris. Well done. Uh, yes, you can. You can do that. Eric, you can add LinkedIn contact emails to your autoresponder, but you've got to, if you're going to use an autoresponder, use something like MailChimp or MailShake because you've got to, you know, you've got to look at the opt-in uh, scenario as well, which is really important. Um, anybody like, just, if you'd like me to craft an offer, just type yes. If you'd like me to craft your offer, just type yes. Right. Uh, micro estate planners, they are loaded with customers now, uh, but their sites suck. So you can, so um, offer number one, Michael, say, hey, have you, you know, if you feel that your current website is not representing you in a way that it should generate clients, we're going to give away $1,500 worth of graphic design to watch your new website. Are you interested in taking advantage of that $1,500, yes or no? That's the offer that I would make, Michael. Right, if you're, if you're going to do this to estate planners, so right now most people haven't, fit, right now the, your estate planning website has to change. Times have changed, you need to be visible, you need to be letting people know how they can take advantage of your services, right? So if you've been thinking about getting your site redone, because we wanna help you out, save some cash, we'd like to give you $1,500 towards, towards the design for your website. Are you interested, yes or no? We can only do this for two people, our team is ready to go. Um, um, on a cold email, no, Eric, on a cold email, no. Uh, just as long as you're not emailing in Canada. <laughs> Don't email in Canada. Yeah, so offer a redone website. Offer, you know, you've got that or SEO. SEO, those guys should be Google my business right now, Michael. So anybody else, anybody else, pick an offer. Let me craft the offer for you, make it relevant. Yeah, absolutely. Right, if you don't want to do ads, let's do SEO. You need organic traffic. GMB is the way to go. For those who don't know what GMB is, it's Google My Business. Yeah, don't email in Canada um, because uh, Canada is very strict. In the US, you can get away with it. Uh, if you have a system for that, yes, Michael. Like I said, pick one, run it out with the offer. Think about what you're writing. Make it plausible. The reason why you're doing this. I like the idea, if you're going to offer this to your existing customers, which I would, I would highly recommend you do if you want them to upsell to the service, right? What I would do is I would say, give context and say, hey, this is something we offer our inner circle clients. We don't do this for new clients in the marketplace. The reason why we're offering it to you is because we know that you need help and we know that, you know, that the cash flow is really important. So let's save you a significant amount of money. Let's save you a ton of money so you can get this thing happening, right? And so the idea is to get people into this conversation. That's the goal, right? You don't need to, please do not overthink this, right? Because what you want to do is you want to make this really simple. You want to make sure that you're generating the outcome that you're looking for. So um, with that, I will take, if you want me to craft a campaign, I've got you all up here. Howard, James, Julie, Michael, Mark, Shamil. Good to see you again, Shamil. Tanya. Uh, thank you for booking some time, Tanya. Looking forward to talking to you. Um, 
uh, global to soul marketing uh, would be best for that, uh, um, Eric. Global to soul marketing. Um, uh, James, I think if you just hop on their calendar, they'll organize a time to hop on a call with you, uh, uh, James. So if you've got a client ready to go for them, then that's awesome. If you haven't got a client ready to go, then follow their protocols of, uh, of making a time with their people. Uh, James, that will probably be more helpful to you. And also rebook uh, for me, James, because there is a Zoom link in the booking when you make a booking. So, Brian, you need me to craft an offer for you. Brian Allway, I can see you there. All the way, or all the way. However we pronounce that properly. Bill Haas, nice to see you here. Alan Kazan, there's a, there's a name, man. Alan Kazan, there's a strong name. A lot of Alan Kazan. So, uh, thoughts on an offer to include work incorporating a bot for five prospects who start a campaign after a call. So Chris, uh, just to, just, so we're talking about a chatbot offer. So, so, so right now we'll give you the chatbot for free if you help, if you want to run the campaign. We'll give you, we'll you $5,000 towards a chatbot, right? $5,000 cash to an automated chatbot that's going to convert sales. If you want to get started, let us know. That's the deal. Yeah. So, so James, go and sign, go and hop into your Globetel account. It's all there. <laughs> uh, no, we can't do that. That's not the purpose of these meetings, James. Uh, you need to reach out to them personally, and they'll send it to you. Yeah, if you, if you, yeah, you, I'll guarantee you, if you're on on Damon's list, you'll get you'll get it. Yeah. Any other questions with regard to offers? Let me answer your question here. Otherwise, I'm going to say thank you for coming, and I'll. Uh, Hop off and go and have some breakfast before I get on my next webinar. <laughs> we all good? Okay. So, Brian. Brian, this is not what I'm offering right now, but I did like, uh, I did, I'd like to cold email an offer for Facebook ads to a new niche, but would need to outsource. Not sure if the outsourcer would charge a setup fee. Um, most outsourcers, Brian, don't charge a setup fee, um, or if they do, it's a very modest one. Um, but you're going to pick up your first month's uh, management fee. The $5,000 deal that we're giving away here is for setup. It's not for the actual running of the management of the campaign. So they must pay you. So on the line item, the invoice, what you're doing is you go $5,000 strategy and setup and implementation for optimization, $5,000. Um, $3,000 a month for the first month for, for the first month and ongoing month's management fee, right? That's what they're going to pay, right? Um, and a minimum of $1,000 ad spend or $2,000 ad spend, that's what we're gonna pay. So if your white label provider charges you a setup fee, that setup fee is gonna be like 200 bucks, 300 bucks, right, or whatever. So you take the $300 out of the 3,000 that you collect and you give it to them, right? You give it to them, yeah? And so, so um, uh, because you're gonna make $2,700 profit on that deal, right, uh, Brian? You're gonna make $2,700 $2, profit on that deal. but on the invoice, you've got $5,000, you're going to cross that out, right, minus $5,000. So your fee now is $3,000 plus the ad spend. Right? So they, they go instead of $9,000 or instead of $8,000, it's only $3,000. So they still pay you for the fee. What you're doing is you're giving them the setup, the strategy, the, the, the uh, optimization, the split testing. You, if you're going to do that anyway, right, you might as well give it to them. Yeah. Um, uh, but to, well, the whole purpose of this is to get a deal over the line now. That's the whole purpose of this deal, to get a deal over the line now, okay? So uh, with that, I wanna thank you uh, for being here. Hopefully this is a cool strategy. Tanya's asking me what time do I normally upload the videos. Um, I'm gonna give an instruction to my team to get this video up as soon as possible. So when I get off here, when Zoom does its uh, little thing, we're gonna take the video, top and tail it, stick it up in YouTube, stick it up in the Facebook group. You'll be able to access this deal, uh, the, these, these offers. My goal is to get this up as quick as possible. Um, thank you. Uh, it's amazing to see that you craft offers on the fly. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a superpower that I have, that I can craft an offer on the fly. Uh, for anybody, anywhere, anytime, right? Um, uh, so with that, I want to thank you for being here. Really appreciate uh, uh, you sharing. Um, uh, somebody else has chimed in. 
Uh, thanks, Shamil. Um, uh, one, two, three, or four. Remember, we all made a deal that you're going to send this offer out today. You need to do this today, right? Because you have three days to close out this month with a sales opportunity. So I'd love to, over the next couple of days, get some feedback on your sending out of these offers and what has actually happened in this time. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to spend some time with me and you're serious about growing your business, then if we implement the things that we talk about here, all of you are going to be full on with clients. You're never going to have to do another training ever again because you'll know how to literally scale your business like crazy because you've applied all these ideas that I've been sharing every single day, right? So thank you. I uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow, same time, same bat channel. If you know of anybody that would benefit from coming to these trainings, right, please send them to consultingunleashed.com forward slash go, right, where they can get access to the Facebook group, the Consulting Age Facebook group. They can get access to the YouTube channel, put the notifications on, because every time we upload a, a video, it'll chime into you saying, hey, video is ready to go, because we are doing this every single day, right? So, um, so uh, uh, please, uh, if you uh, can, the only favor I ask from you is to refer other people to this training. Um, uh, no, just, uh, James, just go N-A-N-A-N-A. -N -A -N -A. I've got, okay, I've got the first one, but just book the time, awesome. Uh, how would you have a quick question? Yes, please ask the quick question before I go. Uh, just chit chat. Just type it in the chat. I'll answer your question. Just a quick question. Just type it in the chat, Howard. I will answer your question for you. Cold email subject lines. Quick question. Um, uh, save five thousand dollars on your ad campaign. Um, uh, here's fifteen hundred dollars to your graphic design. Uh, use their first name in the subject line. Use have the big bang offer right up front in the subject line. Quick question: Hey, you want uh, five thousand dollars? Here's save five thousand dollars on your current Facebook ad campaign. Um, uh, uh, here's three thousand. Here, uh, we're going to give you four and a half thousand dollars to a digital blueprint audit. Right. The subject line could be the compelling big bang offer that you're making in the subject line. Right. Uh, I like quick question. Quick question is a really good one. But if you use their name in the subject line, they're more inclined, your open rates will actually go up, right? So remember, the first thing they're going to read is that first line. So you need to make that first line very friendly, very compelling, right, to, to people, okay? That's, that's the sort of thing, right? So that's very quick. So with that, I want to thank you all for being here. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's training, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific LA Time. Uh, thank you for being on these calls. I really am looking forward to getting feedback on you punching these offers out uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours uh, because I know, like Damien here, uh, they do work. When you apply them, they work. So thank you. Uh, this recording will be up as soon as possible. Thank you, everybody. See you tomorrow.